always interested in new phrases, catchwords. There's a catchword that's been around for a, a few years now, and that catchword is naitahutanga. And I think to myself, what the heck is that? What I think that is about is basically identity. And um, I think all art and design reflects identity in one way, shape or another. It was my dad who actually introduced me to rock drawings. And those were the rock drawings that are now, unfortunately, underneath the Benmore Dam. My dad used to take us as a family, as a whānau, when he was uh, on one of his fishing expeditions to go, you know, fishing in the Ahuriri or the, or the upper Waitaki. And he would leave us by these shelters where the rock drawings were with pen or pencils and paper to actually sit there and copy these drawings. So we still have some of those drawings. And I cherish those drawings now more than anything because they're the touchstones now for which we, I refer to in, in terms of my work. My connection has been because of the beauty that I see and the artistic integrity that I see in those drawings. They have uh, imagery, form uh, that is absolutely staggering in terms of graphic design. When I'm with the ancestors, that they say, look how I've drawn this image. Look how I've drawn this, this, this figure. Look how I've drawn uh, the way that I sit when I'm interested in telling stories. Look at the way in which our kuri is just sitting there ready to go off uh, chasing a little bird. Uh, look at the way these guys are rafting their, their waka down the river. Fundamental to my work is the convention of how our ancestors drew the tiki or the human figure. And so this is the convention. So if I just draw it here, so this is the seated figure. The interesting thing and the magical thing about what our ancestors did with that figure was they, they did the opposite and did that. And what was created in doing that is the full frontal figure. What's of interest to me is that construction. What is that construction all about? The bringing of two figures back to back. And there's something in that that is still a big question. Why were they brought together? Was this about bringing two figures together to make one? Were, is it about having the male and the female element brought together to create a, a third? So there are a lot of questions there. And for an artist, the answers are not so much answers, they're actually more questions and they're probably deeper questions. The idea of that, that space, the creation of that space for that third figure to emerge is something that is intriguing. Some of our kuri have that watia in them. And then this, the watia right through here, and through here. This was my investigation of that whole notion of 
portraits of those who've passed on. So, and I, as an artist, I want to do some work around those. Dearly beloved, so that there is one of them. This is one of my favorite pieces of work. This is Brother Terry. Yeah, he passed away as a young man, talented and just such a waste that he, he passed away so, so young. A very good example of the Watia to fill the space with things that are important. Our ancestors created images that are, for me, perfect. I'm inspired to try and reach that perfection that they have reached. That's what drives me and my art. As a practice, it has evolved over all of my life. I've pursued, I guess, art from a design perspective. It's built in all designers, <laughs> I think, uh, to look for perfection. My work is as much about working to express our naitahunas, to express our, our values and our beliefs conceptually. These are the means by which I portray the things, the events, the places and the people and the other entities that are important to me. I use these motifs. I was invited to do a commission for Massey University in Wellington uh, to design a Poe to go outside. So when I came back with my idea of two big pieces of Omari stone, they were taken back a bit. But um, I said, well, what else can I do? I'm a Naitahu boy from Omarama, from North Otago. What else am I going to do? When you ask me to do a po, I'm going to make it out of the material that's part of my ancestry. If I'm going to do you a po, it's going to have to have some significance for me and thereby having significance for you. I've orientated the stone so that the gap between the two is on an axis back to Takiroa and Maira Whenua, rock art sites, back to the Waitaki, Waiariki or Ayo, the wife of uh, Rakai Hautu is uh, portrayed in that little uh, drawing in here. Inside the sheltered part of the sculpture, there's a lot of me in that. There's a lot of me thinking that I, I like the idea that our, our, our rock art is sheltered away in a safe place. The watia in the tiki figure has been, what I think has been handed down to me from my ancestors. This is something for you to use, Ross, as an artist. Go and use it. Do something with it. Do something with that space. All of my work is around filling that space. Kia ora koutou katoa. I don't need to say any more. Him